This is Lulac's brand new location. They've been here for about six months and they're still in the process of expanding with the goal of one day being able to serve the hundreds of kids still on their waiting list. What else you have? Milk. Early childhood education means a whole lot to a lot of people. Parents in our community uh, need a, a low cost, high quality care so that they can go to work. That's where programs like Lulac Head Start come in. For 40 years, they've been serving families with children eight weeks to five years old, giving them the head start they need to succeed. There are a million things that I can say that Lulac has done for my family. Tiana Lynn Norman sent her son here after he was having speech issues. He learned very quickly, his speech improved very quickly. But for the program as a whole, one thing was off. Their location on James Street, now a pile of dirt, was no longer serving its purpose. It became beyond repair. So Dr. Mikhail Bird Vaughn and other LULAC leaders set their sights on a bigger and better site here on Haven Street. To build, they got $2 million from the feds, but the cost of construction doubled, so the state stepped in. Now they'll do even more with the space, helping 100 families at or below poverty level who need that help now more than ever. Prior to the pandemic, 15% of our children had either suspected or diagnosed special needs. We're almost at 40% now from the pandemic. The new space will have expanded indoor and outdoor playgrounds, a teacher's lab for the staff, resource centers for families, and more. It is at the context of supporting them, nurturing them, and preparing them for lifelong success. We say kindergarten, but kindergarten really is the setup for the rest of their lives. Now, in terms of construction, they're hoping everything will be wrapped up by the end of the year. We're in New Haven, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.